Bella's voice. There he is. We've caught him red-handed. Emma, you're a witness. A witness to what? The most flagrant display of organized animal stealing in the history of Puddleby Cry. Organized? I beg. I am a doctor, sir. You are a horse thief, sir. That is my plow horse. There's no good you're trying to disguise him. He's wearing glasses, very short-sighted. I'd recognize him anywhere. Take them off. At once, sir. Short-sighted. That won't sound very convincing in front of the magistrate. Magistrate? I'm prosecuting, and I don't fancy your chances in court. I'm the magistrate. And if I weren't late for my fox hunt, I'd report you for cruelty to animals. <laughs> Dare lay a finger on her bellows. She's one of my patients. One of your what? She's been chased by your wretched foxhounds three times in the last two weeks. You've already murdered her husband, and if anything happened to her, these babies are going to be awful. It's all right, Sheila. I, I won't let him hurt you. I've never heard. <laughs> Sheila? Just the sight of you is enough to give her a heart attack. Look at her, she's a complete nervous wreck. She'll be more than that by the time I finish her. <laughs> You'll never catch her. There are times the English are rather tiresome. Bellows, no. Never catch her, eh? What do you think this is? My horse! Where did they come from? In North America, we formed an Anglo-American Fox Protection Society. Purely voluntary, of course. Protection Society? Yes, during the hunting season, a skunk will always run with a fox. The idea is to put the hounds off the scent. I never dreamt it would work so well. 